Today I'm going to review and compare the top two data analytics certificate currently available in the market which is Google and IBM. Every big company is now coming out with a certification to help bridge the gap of unfilled job openings for data analytics which will be the future. So if you want to have a glittering career with a high salary, you should start looking at any of this data analytics certificate available and you don't need any IT background. In fact, there are no prerequisites to start your data analytics course. So today's video might help you make a decision which certification to opt for Google versus IBM. Hello guys, I'm Sarika and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. If you're new to my channel, I make career related videos to help students and professionals who want to set in the UK so if you want regular updates from me you can subscribe to my channel if you think my videos are helping you and also you can click on the bell icon to receive notification of my new videos so that you don't miss any important updates which I share so without any further delay let's get started with today's video so I'll first summarize Google data analytics professional certificate so skill level it's for beginner which means no prior work experience is needed course delivery online via courses a platform duration across six months with a suggested pace of 10 hours per week total hours for the course is 260 hours price 39 dollar per month so if you complete this course in six months it will cost you 234 dollar but if you complete this course sooner you will have to pay only for those months now what skills you will learn spreadsheets data cleaning data analysis data visualization sql Questioning, decision making, problem solving, R, Tableau, metadata, data collection, data ethics, and sample size determination. Course modules, it's divided in eight courses. And if you're interested to do any one module, you can opt for it and pay only for that module. Languages, only English with no subtitles. People enrolled so far, 100K. Now let's look at IBM Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Skill level, it's also for beginner. Course delivery online via Coursera platform. Duration, approx 11 months with a suggested pace of three hours per week. Total hours for the course is 140 hours. Price, $39 per month through Coursera. Completing this course in 11 months will cost you $429. Skills you will learn Microsoft Excel, Python, data analysis, data visualization, SQL, pivot table, IBM, Cognos Analytics, dashboards, pandas, and NUMMI. Course module is divided in nine courses. Languages English but got subtitles available. Now let's look at the similarities. Both are hosted on the Coursera platform. Number two, financial aid is available if you cannot afford the course by filling the form, which might take 15 days for approval. Number three, Coursera works on a monthly subscription model. So monthly cost is $39 per month, but if you can access other courses as well with your monthly subscription. Number four, seven days free trial. And the most important point, if you are a student and your university is listed on Coursera, you can get any one course for free so you can choose any of this course number five shareable certificate on social platform like linkedin number six aimed for beginners so no prior experience is needed so anybody can join from any background number seven rating 4.7 star for both the courses now let's look at the differences number one google is teaching our programming language then versus ibm which is teaching in python number two google is available only in english whereas ibm got subtitles in different languages number three for google you need 260 hours commitment versus IBM which needs only 140 hours. Number four, Google is using Tableau for data visualization whereas IBM is using its own tool called Cognos. I used Cognos in 2009 as my clients bought the IBM stack but most of them are moving towards Tableau and Power BI now as Cognos is really hard to learn and use as compared to the intuitive and easy functionality provided by modern tools like Tableau or BI tools. Number five, Google's course is taught by data analytics versus IBM's course which is taught by different people working in data science. So personally I don't care who's teaching me as long as they are able to teach the right content in the language that is easy for me to understand. Number six, Google is using BigQuery versus IBM which is teaching you IBM Cloud. So now how to choose which data analytics certification is good for you. Few things which you need to consider before you make your decision. Number one, 
pick the certification where you get practical experience because in the job interview you will be given a case study where you will be asked to solve a real problem learning theory is not enough so the more you get your hands dirty the better for you to clear your concept as employers tend to look for candidates with work experience or life project experience number two consider course duration i always look for course duration as time commitment is a big thing as not everybody is willing to commit for a longer duration so for people who are working full time or others who are committed to studying something else please make the calculation properly before you enroll for this course Number three, job offer, like career outcomes. Everyone's expectation is what job will they land after completing a course or what salary hike will they get or even what kind of promotion will get if you complete this course. So again, if this is important to you, please consider this before you choose the course. Number four, teaching method. So what do you prefer, video learning versus theoretical learning? For me personally, if someone teaches me by talking or explaining, I grasp it more as compared to reading something on my own. Number five, pick technology that interests you. Google is teaching R programming versus IBM, which is teaching Python. So you can decide what you want to learn. So based on my general analysis, my personal recommendation is to pick Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate because Google had tied up with companies for job offer. Upon completion of the certificate, you will have the option to share your information with top US employers that are hiring entry-level professionals like Cognizant, Infosys, Intel, PNC Bank, Walmart, and of course Google and many more companies. Currently, access to jobs in the employer consortium is only available to those eligible to work in the US, but it is expensive expanding to India, Europe and other regions soon. Also Google is treating this professional certificate as equivalent of a four year degree when hiring for related roles. Now number two, last module is case study called Google Data Analytics Capstone which will help clear your concept, apply your learnings in practical knowledge and most important it will help you with your next job. This case study will help you explore real world job interview scenarios and common interview questions. Number three, Google scores will make you job ready as they will help and support you through the whole job preparation process including a CV building tool, mock interviews, career networking events and a consortium of employees will hire graduates of the program. Number four, Google's course duration is six months, which is less time as compared to IBM's 11 month of commitment. I think in a busy schedule, committing 11 months is way more as compared to six months as you may lose focus and may be less committed. Number five, Google is teaching this certificate in R, a programming language that has a difficult learning curve. Learning this language with help from instructors will make the process smoother than having to learn it by yourself. From there, you can easily teach yourself Python, a language that is very easy to pick. In this way, learning the hard things first is beneficial and makes you a more well-rounded data analyst who can jump in any company. Number six, course fee. You will pay less if you complete this course in six months versus 11 months as suggested by IBM. So before I conclude this video, both of the programs offer a well-rounded introduction to the world of data analytics and whichever you pick, you will learn the same thing with different technology and you will be raising your profile. So go for it, guys. So if you got any questions, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you soon with my next video. Till then, keep learning.